Okay, guys, so we got some big news. Super Vegito, Dokkan Fest, Super Vegito, as well as Dokkan Fest transforming Super Buu, getting their easy A's. I mean, it was to be expected, right? These are the final two Buu Saga Dokkan Fest as of the, the older batch or the old older generation of Dokkan Fest yet to easy A. So this is pretty good. You shout out to Quentin on the Dokkan sub because we're going to take a look at the translation. So let's take a look at what Super Vegito does first. Remember, his passive before was just 50% damage reduction from normals. And then he got an additional 10% attack of each attack received up to 100%. So that was it. I'm interested to see how they change this. The leader skill, Boo Saga 3 key 170. That's to be expected. Causes immense damage and raises allies' attack and defense by 30% for one turn. Again, that was to be expected. Um, okay, if if they can make him slot 1. Imagine if SDR Super Vegito gets his easier. So he reduces incoming damage from normals by 80%. Alright, so he's literally taking zero damage, and he counters with tremendous power. Okay, 150% defense at the start of turn. He then gets 20% attack with each attack received up to 120. So it now takes, uh, what is that, 6 hits to fully build up before it was 10 hits. Okay. There's a medium chance of performing a crit, and he gets 1 key up to 3, and 30% defense up to 90 and a critical hit chance plus 10 up to 30 for every three attacks received during battle. So he needs to eat nine hits to fully build this part of his passive up. I mean, the key, I feel like he didn't really need the key, right? Uh, he already has prayer for battle. Oh, he doesn't have an overhead flash, does he? Okay. I mean, but he still has PFB fused fighter. I mean, I'll take it, right? It would just mean that he's auto super attacking. The defense is going to be nice. I just for me, like, um, I think I think they've done enough. I, I think this guy he's gonna he's not going to take any damage from normals, from any boss in the game. Super attacks he'll still die to, but that is to be expected. I don't think we can really expect every single <laughs> easy A, every single brand new unit to tank super attacks. But this is interesting, right? Because he's building up a thirty percent chance to crit here, and then he's building up. Uh, sorry, not building up. He has a thirty percent chance to crit here. So he has a 60% chance to crit. And he's he's a counter unit. And he's getting a whole host of percentages. By the way, this is uh, multiplicative, right? So this is pretty insane. And for those who don't know, counter units, they kind of work differently to regular units in the sense that for every counter attack they perform, that triggers their hidden potential additional. So if this guy potentially counters two or three times before he super attacks himself in slot one, I don't know if you're going to run this guy into slot 1, but let's just go with a hypothetical situation. The uh, the hidden potential additional will trigger all three times. And then when he performs his regular super attack, the hidden potential additional can roll, can trigger there as well, right? The the die is rolled in that sense. So he's seeming boss. He's seeming very good. Um, I, 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 think they've, I think they've done a solid job so far. Again, we'll wait and see when the showcases are out, but I think his damage is going to be off the charts. Absolutely insane unit. And yeah, it's to be expected, right? They've kind of just borrowed... Some aspect of STR Super Vegito's kit where he's getting crit chance now. So that's good. Uh, let's move on to Super Boo then. Super Boo is a bit more interesting because he has so many different forms. So Transformation Boo's 3 key 170 or STR types 3 key 120. Okay, that's pretty good for Dokkan Battlefield as a secondary leader skill. 12 key SA greatly raises attack for one turn. Immense damage and greatly lowers attack and defense. Oh, I was hoping they would have given him defense raising here. All right, that's, okay, it's not too big of a deal. Let's see. Uh, one key and 120% attack and defense. One key. <laughs> Why are they getting one key for? It's a bit No, it's a bit bizarre. Just one key. It, two would have been, uh, I suppose, like more in line, right? So he gets an additional 120% defense. The more HP remaining, the greater the boost. And then he gets an additional 60% attack and defense when attacking. And then he transforms into a specific form when conditions are met. Uh, I, this form seems light to me. Yeah, it, the thing, it actually does seem pretty light. Like, this is like in line with what AGL Super Saiyan Gogeta, but that guy at least has a 50% chance to dodge. The thing with Boo, though, we don't know if they're going to change this transformation condition. Right now, I believe it's just turn 5, and then based on the HP threshold, they can make this turn 4, very similar to how they did it with Gogeta Blue. Alright, so let's see. Uh, Super Boo massively raises defense for one turn, immense damage, recovers 20% health, attack and defense 140, he reduces damage by 50% when in slot 1 or 2. Oh, that's very good. Gains an additional 60% defense and all allies 40% attack and a crit hit chance 8%. And then for 6 turns from first appearance, he re recovers an additional HP 10% at the end of the turn? Oh my god, <laughs> this, this Boo Piccolo is amazing. 
He's getting 100% defense, and he's also getting 50% damage reduction in slot 1 or 2. By the way, we still don't know what the part 2 LR is going to be. If it is going to be some sort of boo, kid boo unit, and he's a slot 2 amazing unit, like this could be... I mean, the, the only thing with this boo pick low, I don't think the HP conditions or the HP thresholds will change. So, to actually transform into him, you, you need to be here. Which isn't going to be the easiest thing in the world, but... If you do transform into this, this is absurd. This guy is amazing. Yeah, easily. I mean, the percentages are a bit light, I'll be honest. Just 140 to attack and defense. But he's just doing a whole host of other bit of tech. I mean, I'm just wondering, didn't he, did he not have key support before? Yeah, he gave all allies three key. So, I'm going to chalk that up to either a, tr a translation miss where I'm blind, because I don't seem to see any key here. Yeah, he. so you're telling me he they, they removed the key? That, that There's no way. I, I think that has to be a, a mistake. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah. It's, it's Okay. As I refresh that, it's been fixed. All allies get 3 key and 40% defense. Yeah, this guy's good. Uh, I like this Boo Piccolo a lot. Boo, Boo Go Tanks absorbed. Immense damage, seal super attack. Lowers enemy attack and defense. It recovers 10% health at the start of the turn. 1 key and 180 to attack and 140 to defense. He gets an additional 80% attack and defense when attacking. Okay, at least that's there. That'll show him up a bit defensively, right? Because it's a multiplicative buff. He didn't have that before. An additional 80% attack and defense when attacking enemies who are in the attack down and defensive down status. And then for 6 turns from first appearance, he gains an additional 1 key and 80% defense. And then a great chance to launch an additional super. Yeah, I, uh, I... He... I don't know. I think this guy is the worst of the bunch. I mean, he was the worst of the bunch prior as well. What is the condition? Between 50 and 79% health. I feel like it, you're most likely to get this one. <laughs> very easily but then again he's healing a lot and assuming that a part 2 LR kid comes out and he's healing very similar to LR model cooler the convoy LR then it might not like hopefully we don't ever see this form he's not that special I'll be honest no damage reduction no guard he has no defense raising lowering attack is fine the issue with that is if we're talking about the ultra difficult content most of those stages or phases are immune starting from turn 2 so I, I, yeah this kind of stuff like you're not gonna you're not gonna see this many times we now have Super Boo Gohan Absorb, so greatly raise attack and defense for three turns. Did he have that before? I swear he had it for one turn, right? Oh. <laughs> uh, he seems good already. Deals 12% HP at the start of turn. He gets 2 key and 180 to attack and defense. Raises own defense up to 120. The more HP we're running, the greater the boost. And then gets attack 80% when attacking. For six turns from first appearance, launches an additional, which has a high chance to become a super, and then a great chance to guard. Oh my god. Great chance to guard incoming attacks. And then after seven terms have elapsed from first appearance, high chance to activate guard. Here's the thing, I hate high chance to guard, medium chance to guard units. I hate percentage chance to guard units anyway, but he has a great chance to do it. And, uh, bro, he's he's getting 50% attack and defense for three turns. He's getting 180 to attack and defense here. He's still getting additional defense here, and he can double super attack, and that will help this out. Super boo is... Uh, Boo Gohan Absorb seems insane to me. Yeah, Boo, Go I, I, Boo Gohan Absorb is cracked, bro. He's also healing. He's also healing you every single turn. Yeah, they really need to drop a. They really need to stop playing around and drop a Kid Boo. They need to drop a Part Two Kid Boo ASAP. All right, we've pulled up Monado's translation as well. I believe he's still translating Super Boo. I'm just gonna double check that there's no differences here. Uh, that's the same. That's also the same. Medium chance upon the crit, one key up to three, defense 30 up to 90, and chance upon the crit plus 10 up to 30. Yeah, that is correct. So that that's Super Vegito's details are correct. I'm just gonna see if he's dropped uh Kid Boo, or sorry, not Kid Boo, transforming Boo. Alright, he's double checking Boo right now. I mean I don't think there's gonna be any mistakes here. Let me know guys think Boo, I, I think, is insane. Again, Piccolo Absorbed is very good. Gohan Absorbed is very good. Gotenks Absorbed is kind of mid, but. You've got like a what, a 66% a, a chance if we take a look at it in terms of a probability that you're going to go into either guard or guard and not mid. So, yeah, let me guys think. In fact, just very quickly, what are, like, what is Super Boo's best linking partners? I don't even know. What, what is his name? Shocking Absorption. What are your best linking partners? Yeah, this is the issue. Yeah, you're like, you're not that relevant. Although then again, who knows if you're going to get an easier this month then that could work. Oh, STR Kid Boo, I just realized. You're finally going to get a, a linking partner, although, again, it's going to have to be this form. Oh, where's Kid Boo? 
Oh, okay. Now Kid Buu shares three links. I mean, that's still better than nothing, I suppose. Margin, Fierce Battle, and then the wall standing tall. So then what about Boo Tanks? Boo Tanks only shares... Four. Okay, so he shares one more link with Kid Buu. The only issue at that point, though, is that I wouldn't really say Kid Buu's a slot one unit. I wouldn't really say that this guy's a slot one unit. The only slot one unit, or the only unit who's best in slot one is going to be this Piccolo Absorbed. But yeah, thank you for watching. Again, the, the boos seem pretty crazy. Vegito seems pretty crazy. And yeah, I'll, I'll, I suppose I'll catch you in the next one.